y'all welcome back um so today i have my council partner caitlin again and in so for my other council partner victoria today we have bubba say hey bubba okay but today we are going to be talking about if the disney animated movie of atlantis were to have an actual live action casting movie and if you don't know what Atlantis is then you probably need to go watch the movie before you actually watch this video because Atlantis was a pretty good movie very underrated and it was pretty good but ahead of his time yeah so let's go ahead and get started with the characters so for the first character of Milo I personally decided to go with Tom Holloway because I felt like Tom Holling was a better fit and it's more of a of a current update than other people that I actually thought about for this role. So that's my opinion. Caitlin? Okay. I have a lot of ors in mind, but I chose either Ezra Miller, Ryan Dorsey, Jamie Campbell, or Eddie Redman. But I'm shooting for Ezra Miller because his acting skills in the way he acts, the guy who played Flash, you guys don't know, in the, jeez, it was, it was okay, but in the DC version of, you know, Superman, Flash, I did all the jazzy stuff, he was okay. That's a lot of words, though. I mean, it's alternate, isn't it? I mean, hey, they can choose from their perspective and see, okay, I see why she chose that one. Okay. I mean, leave it open instead of just one dynamic one that's actually not going to actually deliver. See, they have that. And then say if one gets too busy because they're they're on which one they're working on something else. So somebody has to go out, he's so, yeah. Okay. Okay, so for the next character, uh Princess Kad Kadaya. Okay. I got, I, I got a lot of orbs. I got a lot of orbs. I'm I need sorry. you to pick two. Okay, I can do that. Okay. I can do that. Kadaya. <laughs> I can never say her name right. Cool. Kadaya? Kadia? Kada. What are you talking about? Pr the princess. Oh, okay. Now that you're actually trying to say actress name. I don't no. What are you trying to say? Okay. So pretty much, anyways, for the princess, I, so for the princess, I decided to go with my girls and dad. And reason being, if I had Tom and Zendaya together in another <laughs> movie, they would have, they already have mad chemistry from Spider-Man. Both Spider-Mans actually. You know, Zendaya, Zendaya, I mean, I gotta give my girl some credit. She got range. So I feel like this will be another movie for her to just add on to the range. Because, you know. Okay, she, that's, that's not bad, though. That's not bad. Because that's, that's good. That's good. I say either Yaya DeCosti or she, I'll show you who Yaya is. Or Zoe Kravitz. Zoe's the daughter, right? Mm. I mean, the other it? options you got Zoe, uh, Zoe the the Delta and Rochelle. So how old is Zoe? Zoe's like twenty. You serious? Mm -hmm. No, she's like a 30, 31, 30, 31, I think. See, I thought about Zoe. Yeah, I thought about Zoe, but then I also thought about like age. No, I put her mom though too, because I mean they weren't that they weren't that young though, because they were like top and they're not even young no more. They're twenty five. Mm. And then you still gotta play a young person in high school. It just because the skin looks good. Her skin looks great. I would cute. For our next character of Helga Sinclair, I decided to go with Jennifer Lawrence. I felt like look wise, J Law had it. And acting wise, I feel like J Law would have been good because she already played a really good character when she was in uh, Red Sparrow. And just based off that movie alone. Yeah. So like just based off of that movie alone, I was just like, you know what, this would probably be a good part for her. So I thought you were gonna ask me when I say it. But Charlize Theron? Yeah. Yes. That delivered. Okay. Delivered. Atomic blonde? Atomic blonde. <laughs> Deliver. Cause she's already a whew, she's already a lot of force to be reckoned with. So I feel like she would do pretty 
So for our next character of Audrey, um, when picking this character, I originally decided to go with Isabella Monner, the the girl from Mr. Iglesias. I oris okay, listen. Originally, I decided to go with her, but after discussing it with a fellow counter partner, I decided to go with this child. Well, this child P Polaco. <laughs> okay. Okay. Have you seen her? Honestly, no, I haven't, and that's why I went when discussing with my counter partner. Me and my counterpart they actually got into a very huge argument about I feel this. as if you should see the person's words though. No. Tessa Thompson. We're going to go with Tessa Thompson. Because Tessa Thompson. Tessa. Tessa Thompson. It's not a bad choice. Preferably, I would just say. No. It's not that bad of a choice. It's not that off. But I can see where they would have their little arguments at her and her counterpart there. But Tessa Thompson for me. Okay. I can, I can see that. So for because she famous too that night with her acting skills and then check her out on Westworld. I watched it today. Amazing. She does an amazing job. I kind of hate her in it, but that's how good she did. That's how good she is. She made me hate her. Okay. So for the character of the mole, I decided <laughs> to go with Jack Black. I felt like that's so good. <laughs> That's good. I feel like Jack Black would bring out that comedic side of the mole. Like, the mole, he's just weird. Jack Black would do a good job being weird. <laughs> I don't know. Cause you're gonna, I don't know if you remember this movie. Bro, just say the name. It's Eddie Marson. Eddie Martin. Marson. Marson. He's really funny, but he's okay. really annoying. And then his voice has the texture on there. Mm -hmm. So then he wouldn't have to like try to figure it out like that. And he's super short already. Let's just keep that in mind too. He's short and then he can put on weight. Yeah. Any more I can see that, but so, this is going well. But see, I feel like if Victoria was here, that's when I would have been over here making way more faces because the people she probably chose. But yours isn't bad, though. I feel like we just can't put Now I had a very hard time picking Penny. Um, I'm very so. afraid to hear who you have to do. So let's go. <laughs> Originally, for the person of Penny, I had. John Chur Totoro to 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 I originally had John but I had you know did some switching around and I'm still kind of debating on Vinny so for the for the person I have for Vinny is Jeff Goldblum and I'm not really too confident in that one I mean, I feel like he still would do a pretty decent job at the role. For I'm me? Not, that's what I'm saying. I wasn't too confident. Because I have him on here. <laughs> not for Vinny, though. <laughs> not for Vinny. Not at all. See, originally I had him for Preston. And I had John. <laughs> that's what I got. That's what I got. So you let me hang in. It's okay. Okay. But, yeah. <laughs> No, I prefer Vinny. I have ores on this one too. It's either Vincent, Vincent, Vincent Castle or okay. He's kind of like the last one I would choose. I feel like he would be a backup, backup, like very last one. But Matthew McConaughey, just in case they want people who like are freshly in the face, freshly in the face. They're gonna be like, oh, I know who that is. As long as he's like the last one. Like, he's thinking with Jack Black. He's the last one for Vincent. No, I'm saying, if you're going with the, oh, I know who that is. I mean, who well, yeah, but I'm saying, who's going to catch your eye, too? You can't just have just one in there. Think about how many people they throw in so many other movies for no reason. Look at Avatar. But, freaking, yeah. So, Matthew kind of is, like, the last one. I wouldn't really worry about him. But my main one is Vincent Castle. And you don't look like no? Yes. Okay, yeah. Vincent Castle or Lamport Wilson. I'd probably say Vincent. Yeah, yeah. yeah Vincent. And then his face, too. If you actually pay attention to how his face looks, it adds up. Okay, okay. So for the commander, I um I actually have two choices for this one. I have a lot. <laughs> Pick two. I can't. Pick two. <laughs> so for the commander, I have a tie between John Hamm and Arnold Schwarzenegger. And for John, I picked John 
based on you know acting ability wise, I feel like he can actually play the role of a commander. And then for Arnold Schwarzenegger, I picked him based off of appearance wise. Like he's big, he's bold, he's got the broad shoulders and everything. And I mean, if there was a way to put them two together, that would be great. But if I had to choose over these two, I would probably go with Arnold over John. So, yeah. Captain? Um, okay. If I had to choose two, Alex Carter, Grant, he is older now, but he would do an amazing job because almost every, they always pick him to be like some type of, they put him in charge or they always make him some type of bad guy. So that's the role I'm kind of used to, but if not him, then it would be Mark Van. Mark Van is that guy. Everything that this man has touched, all his work that he's done, especially when I fell in love with him as Spider-Man. The great, the third one. All his work. He's an incredible actor who can sit here and be very demanding on screen and make you own that commander spot. Like, you just want to see the commander and it's not even about him. Okay. Okay. So, going back to Preston. So, for Preston... This was one of the characters I actually kind of flipped. So for Preston, I decided to go with John to Totoro. Totoro? I don't know if I'm saying the name right, but I don't know. Uh, I just showed you. But I decided to go with him because I feel like um, he bring he would probably bring out more of like the professor. Because wasn't the professor more like a like nutty type? Like, oh, like that. I'm probably gonna mess this up, but it's we gonna hear we gonna hear Google say because I'm gonna mess it up for sure. Takiti, yeah, Takiti, uh, Takiti, Watiti, Takiti, Watiti, Watiti, Thor Ragnarok, the director, and the voice of uh, one of the characters in the movie, also, which is great. He do a good job because he was also in the movie himself. And he, he does a little something, something on screen when he's you know not behind the camera, and he does a, a he does a really good job. Though I feel like he would actually do like really 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 good at acting just how the professor would and then you know he can change his voice that way mm -hmm. or how the professor sounded but if not him then Jeff Cole <laughs> that's why I was like no I only saw either Jeff or Takiti that's it no, I was the opposite but okay so what do you think? Right. 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 that's what you think Okay. Sorry. So for the King of Atlantis, I decided to go with uh, Mahershala Ali. You know, you pick some hard names. Great book. I decided. I, I thought about him, but I just went, I went and put it over. I chose somebody older. I decided to go with him just based off you know some of the roles he did in Green Book and some of the other movies that he done did and you know I just felt like he was a really good really good pick so. since I had to choose two technically I have three can I just say the three because it's three okay it's three of them okay technically the last one he's a last resort that I would choose but I was just like maybe if they want to take that route but I said Danny Glover okay and then Richard Roundtree Richard Roundtree is what really got me, for I sure. Probably, I probably go with Danny. Maybe that too, but I would give it. That's not like a bad. Like your choice isn't bad neither for neither of those, because you could really see. I kept looking at how the king was, and I rewatched it with my dad, and we kept looking. We just like, yeah, yeah. Because you got to think about. I chose somebody like who is necessarily older, because they're the parents. Mm -hmm. So you know, instead of them adding a whole bunch of makeup on and stuff like that, they already have it intertwined, and then you know how they make themselves seem. They wouldn't have to do that much. Okay. So for Dr. Strongbear, <laughs> I, 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 
So, when discussing this, um, somebody thought it would be nice to say Michael Clark <laughs> Duncan. And unfortunately, Michael Clark Duncan has been deceased for like eight years. Oh my god. So, we can't do Michael Clark Duncan. I mean, he was a good choice, but he's, he's not alive. So, for Dr. Strongbear, I decided to go with Terry Crews. Terry Crews has the physique, he has the the charm, he has the ability, in my opinion. So I decided to go with good old Terry. Don't get me wrong, Terry is my guy, and especially if I'm book with Nine Nine right now, and Craig Oak Creek as the dad. But no, yes. Okay, we're not gonna even say my first person. We're gonna go with because the first person you can be like, who? He's a British actor. So I'm not gonna even try the first one because you can be like, ah, no, no, no. Boris Ko Kojo. I still say Terry. He what? We're not even talking about how based off of looks here. First of all, Boris is already bald. Terry. Second of all, he's too. already, okay, he's already muscular. Both of them are muscular. Both of them are both charismatic and everything like that. Who's gonna fully deliver? And who might not even have a schedule available to actually film? Terry. Terry. So, alright, I'm just going to do the queen and then call her a rat. No, no, we got how many we got left? We got two, but I can't say her name. What's her name? Helen Myron? No, the, the actual character name. Oh! Wilhelmina? Wilhelmina. Oh, Wilhelmina. Yeah. Okay. So, for the character of Wilhelmina, I decided to go with Helen Manor. Minor? Manor? Yeah, I had it right. And I feel like Helen would do a good job portraying the, the sassiness that she had. You know, she, I didn't like her. She was <laughs> a little mean and aggressive towards these people. I think Sharon Stone. I feel like it would just be Sharon Stone. Off That's not a bad choice for her, though. But Sharon Stone, for sure. Because Sharon got a lot of tude in her set. A lot of people, normally, a lot of people, anyways, don't like her already. I mean, some people say she's sweet. But that's the tea on the streets because they don't like her. But anywho. And then for our last character, Queen of Atlantis. I decided to go with Tracy Ellis Ross. And I felt like with her playing the queen and Mark. Mahershala playing the king and then Zendaya being the princess, that's just a perfect family right there, you know, because you got I mean, but the queen wasn't really featured like that. So I mean, saying, it's a long but I mean, it's a small role. Okay, thank you for watching. Um, let us know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to. I'm not going to force you, though. It would be nice. I feel like we will have a little much more interesting cast next week. That, And hopefully, Victoria will actually be here <laughs> this time. We, we shall see. But if not, well, I think Bubba would do pretty good as our, as our fill-in. Thank you, you Bubba, for joining us.